Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can save a fusion composition for future use. So in a previous video I went ahead and created this call out title animation. And this call out title would allow you to present information such as the name of the product, information about it, and a price. But when you create fusion compositions like this, it can take a lot of time. If we go over to the fusion tab here. Uh, you can see that there's quite a few nodes, and if I expand this text and background, even more nodes that go into this. And it does take a while to set up for the first time. So when you have all of this work already done for yourself, you probably want to reuse that in the future. So how we can do that is by creating a settings file. So in order to take all of this work that we've previously done and save it into a settings file, we need to select all of the nodes which are relevant. So in this case, that's going to be everything except the media out node here. I'm going to select all that, note the white border around everything we have selected, right click, go to settings, and save as. So when you save your settings, it's going to be saving into a file. You want to put it somewhere on your computer where you can easily find it. You could leave it in the default settings. But to make it easily accessible, I'm actually going to put it on my desktop right here. So I'm going to call this settings the call out title setting. So I have my file name, I just go ahead and hit save here, and that's going to put it on my desktop. So now anytime we want to reuse those same settings for the nodes, we simply need to drag this into a node editor. So in order to import that fusion composition into a new project, I'm simply going to create a new fusion composition generator here. I'm going to go over to the fusion tab, and with the settings file that I created, I'm going to drag that onto the nodes area. So we can see all of the nodes are in here once again. And once I connect that to media output, we're going to get exactly the same effect in a completely new project simply by importing that settings file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. And we can see that we have the same effect recreated. If we go over to the edit tab, we can see that just like it was in the original, well, we need it to pre-render there. So let's go ahead and play that one more time now that it's pre-rendered. And we can see that we get exactly the same effect that we had in the other video. So that's the gist of how you create a settings file for any custom 3D fusion composition. Just select all your nodes, settings, save, put it somewhere you can find it, and then drag that into a nodes editor in a future fusion composition. So I hope this video helped some of you guys out if you are curious on how you can save your work for later reuse. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.